my airplane seat has three rooms. This back here, that's my bedroom. I'm about to board the plane and fly in the residence, which is a three room airplane seat with like a living room, a bathroom, and a bedroom. And it's on an A380. This huge plane. Welcome to the residence. Please make yourself at home. This is it. This is my seat. I think we're taking off now. So firstly, we have your complimentary Etihad Wi-Fi voucher. We have your headsets, noise cancelling, pajamas, and also an additional loungewear robe. Very comfortable. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. The actual signature of the pilot, Tim. Okay, I'll now begin with a little tour. First is this room here. This room is considered like the living room. If you walk back here, through my hallway. You get to this room. This is the bedroom, an entire bedroom. And then if you head back to the living room, on the way there is this room. All right, back to the living room. It's got two full-size seats. And when I say full-size, I don't mean like, like a regular airplane seat. I mean, I mean like what is effectively two fully reclining seats. It really feels a lot more like a couch maybe. Now just across from this gigantic seat is this little bench here. And in addition to it serving as a great footrest, you could also just sit here. And then under this cushion, refrigerator. Leg room, typically leg room is measured in inches, but in this seat, In this seat, you'd measure in feet. So that there is about three feet of leg room, but... But if I move over about a foot and a half to the right, my leg room increases by quite the margin. And that's 14 feet of leg room. Now, when you're back here, you have like a proper bedroom. So the bed is like a real bed, like a proper, proper bed. That's just a mirror. Now what feels really extraordinary about this, besides the fact that I'm laying in a bed on an airplane, is just the sheer amount of privacy you have. So when you're in the seat, you definitely have privacy because there's this wall here. But look, somebody could just kind of peek over. There's no windows, no one can get back here. There's a big bed and there's a TV for you. <laughs> That was the turn down service. Now an airplane bathroom is usually the grossest place on the whole plane. It's basically a flying porta potty. But with this seat, you get a private bathroom. You don't have to share this bathroom with anyone. This is just my bathroom. If you wanted to use the toilet with the door open, you definitely could. And in addition to all these fancy amenities, you have your own proper shower right here. This is how much time you have 
When it gets to red, you're out of water. You get 10 whole minutes here. Who takes a 10 minute long shower? Didn't bring any extra underwear. I tried to wash these in the shower. Probably a terrible idea. My first course. Thank you. My main course. This one here. Is there a passion fruit sorbet? Thank okay. you. Palate cleanser. Second main course. So we're just about there, which means I have to get off this plane soon, which is unfortunate. See, there are two things that you never really get when flying on an airplane, and that's space and privacy. And this plane had a borderline ridiculous amount of both of those things. Look, this is an empty seat right here. So in conclusion, uh, I didn't pay for this flight. They gave it to me for free, so I'd make a YouTube video about it. But, but if you're looking to spend about the price of a new Toyota on one flight. What an experience. Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to New York. The local time is 4.37. Thank you. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fast. It was a fight. It was wonderful.